Okay, we're downstairs, 114 Allen Road. Ah, finished basement, nice size family room. And you got a laundry room back here with like a kitchenette or something. Can't really see it though. Um, and then we got a bathroom. It's small, but it's a full bathroom. The stand up shower, sink, toilet. So. Um, this house had fire damage. The furnace looks okay, and it has all the duct work. There's a 50 50 chance the furnace might be all right. Some storage down there. So, so we're in the basement going up to the living room. So this is where you'd first walk in, and there's the fire damage. Can't get over to underneath of there. To see yeah, so. And it looks like, you know, the, this section of the roof here is going to need to be replaced. The trusses look burnt. Yeah, go run back. It looks like it's spread through the roof. Now, they're black about another foot or two past where you can see but it doesn't look like they're damaged it's just black so they probably have to be sprayed so i don't know let's just assume that you have to go all the way up to where that wall is in the attic and replace it i don't know and i would hire a licensed company to come in and take care of that so that might cost us i don't know 15 20 grand just to replace this stuff up here would be like the dining room area and then the kitchen area top of the stairs here you can see through mm. so it's a split level right. I'm gonna go from the outside so you back up to the apartments and then you got this nice deck back here though I'd power wash it Um, it, yeah, so you place that whole roof. The siding looks okay. New doors, maybe some new windows. Not a huge yard, but it's a nice size. So I guess, yeah, a privacy fence around the back would probably add value. The AC units out here, it looks all right. That's the entrance to the basement. So yeah, the siding, everything looks good on this side of the house. Got a driveway. Um, see the homes nearby are nice though. Nice quiet street over here. You are close to Ritchie Highway. And the beltway, I guess. But yeah. So this part of the house looks right. I don't know. Actually, there's a little dipping in that roof too. A little bit might be all right. But I definitely replace this. Probably this whole section here. Just replace the top of it. Paint the shutters. The windows look okay. Um, it's probably the biggest asset to this house is the beautiful view of downtown Glen Burnie. It's the beautiful skyline view. Just kidding. All right, let's see here. So if we go back in, we'll see the rest of the house. So downstairs in the basement, you got a family room, a bathroom, a kitchenette. Um, kitchen, the eating area. Let me go up there. And then up here. Yeah, I mean, up here isn't that bad. It smells and there's a lot of junk to be removed. But no, I can't see anything. It's a me yeah, medium small bedroom. Um, medium sized bedroom over here. Popcorn ceiling, but I would just paint everything. So this just looks like carpet and paint in this section of the house. Even the doors look okay. Um, master bedroom. 
it smells like dog crap in here. And then you got the bathroom, the full bathroom that has two doors. You can't see anything though, of course. But so I guess you need a, a, two new bathrooms, new kitchen, carpet and paint this section of the house. Say about twenty grand to redo that roof because we got to hire a licensed company. New door here. Fix up that deck, which is actually pretty nice. That'll power wash, stain, place some wood. Nice walk-in closet. That's what people are looking for. The big master bedroom. The walk-in closet. Now, it doesn't have its own private bathroom, but there is a door. Get into that one. But, hey, it's three bedrooms, two bathrooms. Um, this neighborhood, I think you're looking at around 250 so might be worth getting. There's more of the fire damage. You already have the duct work. Okay. 